Teresa Corley was 19 years old on December 6, 1978. The vibrant young woman from Bellingham was working hard to put herself through college and become a pediatrician. But that night, Teresa had just one thing on her mind, getting home. Instead, two days later, her body was found in a ditch on the side of Route 495. Nearly 40 years later, her family is still trying to find out why. What drives me is what happened to Teresa was, was a true injustice. Jerry Hood is one of Teresa's sisters. It was, it's senseless, it was senseless what happened to her. The nightmare of Teresa Corley's final hours began at a bar in downtown Franklin, where Teresa and her friends were drinking and celebrating a birthday. Teresa got into an argument and walked out. She started a 14 mile walk home on a cold night. Somewhere in the center of Franklin, three young men picked up Teresa in a car and brought her to the Presidential Arms Apartments where things spiraled out of control. I was told that she was held down by two men while another man raped her or attempted to rape her. According to state police, Teresa ran out of the apartment sometime before 4.30 in the morning and she started hitchhiking where two different drivers picked her up. Both told police Teresa was intoxicated and angry. Back in 1978, that was the Bellingham Police Station. And about 5 o'clock in the morning, this is about where the last driver dropped Teresa off, right in the center of Bellingham, right in front of the police station. A few more people saw Teresa hitchhiking just down the road, but she's less than a mile away from home. Teresa Corley never made it. The next morning, it was clear to Teresa's family something was wrong. And we were in a panic. We were in a state of panic. Um, that she hadn't come home because it was so unusual. This is Fox 25 drone video of the northbound side of Route 495 in Bellingham. In 1978, this was a crime scene. Teresa Corley's nude body was found on December 8th, her jacket and jeans thrown next to her body. A man claiming to be Connecticut businessman John Burlington called Bellingham police, alerting them he saw the body when he pulled off the road to relieve himself. Now, state police say John Burlington never existed. And deepening the mystery, shortly after the Burlington call, but before anyone knew a body was even discovered, a local man walked into the police station asking if they had found Teresa up on the highway. That man is now dead, but police think he may have known much more, and others could too. And that's what Teresa's family is counting on 37 years later. Jerry and her sisters have created a Facebook page called Justice for Teresa Corley. And what I get from that Facebook page is I thought she was forgotten. I really thought the whole town forgot about her, people forgot about her. It would be so easy to just walk away from it. No, no, that's walking away from her. I recently spoke with the Norfolk County DA's office who tell me they continue to search for justice. As for the three men in the apartment, they have never been charged with anything related to Teresa's case. There's also the hope that modern forensic science, DNA testing, might provide a significant breakthrough. It's happened in other cases. It's hoped it might happen here, too. Now, if you have any information, you are urged to contact the Norfolk County DA's tip line at 617-593-8840. I'm Bob Ward for New England's Unsolved.